And welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening DX. Alright, Dungeon 4 time. Welcome to Angler's Tunnel. This dungeon, it's a water- no wait no, this isn't technically the water dungeon. Eh, it's kind of the water dungeon. Also the next two dungeons are the water dungeon, weirdly enough. But yeah, of the two water dungeons, this is the one I like more. I'm not a big fan of Dungeon 5 from what I remember. But yep, let's take a look around. But yeah, gimmick of this dungeon, water. Water is everywhere. I mean, we had to like, get rid of a, not, not a tornado. We had to get rid of a waterfall to get here. All right, compass. Also, yeah, after this dungeon, we might have enough money to finally get that bow. Kind of been wanting to grab that at some point. Whoops. Yeah, deep water. Link can't swim, so we have to get over there without going to the deep water, which should be possible. Yeah, it's possible. I just need to jump. There we go. So until we get the flippers, pretty much all the puzzles around this dungeon is going to be, like, revolving around how to get to somewhere without swimming. Oh, right. I think I have to kill all the enemies to get out of here, don't I? Yep, there we go. I do not want that. I don't need that. I have the blue mail. Blue tunic, technically. Uh, we don't have another key for that one, so let's backtrack a bit. Also, yeah, since walking in water is a bit slower, I tend to just jump everywhere. Or use the Pegasus boots. Can't go that way yet. Actually, technically I could go that way, but I don't think there's anything under those pots. Actually, I don't remember if there's anything under those pots. One second. Pretty sure there isn't, but might as well find out. Whoops. Too early. Alright, what do we got here? We got hearts and yeah, nothing under there. Oh well. But yeah, we need to find another small key. Can't go that way yet. We'll have to go the other way around. Uh, button over there, nothing over there. There should be a chest at the end of this that we saw earlier. Yep, there it is. Is this key? Nope, it is the stone beak. Man, I haven't actually used a stone beak in quite a while. I should probably actually make use of them at some point. They can provide some pretty useful clues. Uh, we could jump that at some point. We got the map. Yeah, we're gonna need to find a lot of keys in order to get through this dungeon. Well, we have our rocks feather. And the boots, so time to jump. They were very proud of the whole jumping mechanic. Also, I want to get rid of that anti-fairy before it becomes a problem. Come here, anti-fairy. There we go. Alright. Also, bombs. Uh, what's in here? Is it the... It's a small key. Okay, we could backtrack to that locked door from before, but I think all it does is lead right over... Yeah, it just leads down there, which we'll probably have to go to at some point. Uh, what else is around here that we could grab? Also, I'm gonna put these away before I accidentally waste them. Let's see, we could bomb that. Whoops. That's right, we have to bomb in this game. Can't just run through it. Uh, where are my bombs? Let's get to that before I get hit again. Okay, no small key. Perfect. Uh, do I need the heart? Not really, I'm good on hearts. That's the advantage of the blue mail. <laughs> Don't really take that much damage throughout the entire game anymore. Although some enemies in the later areas can take out quite a few hearts. Alright, so we just need to loop back around to the- Oops. Just gotta loop around back to the bottom of this hill. Or not hill, this room. And then we can go down, we can go into that room from the bottom. And then we can head to the northern part of the dungeon. Oh, right. Gotta kill all the enemies in this room. I forget if there's an easier way to, oops. If there's an easy way to get rid of those without having to use the shield. I'm pretty sure there is, but I'm not sure if we have it yet. It might be the arrow. Oh, no, it's probably the magic rod. Then again, the magic rod kind of kills everything. Including, like, cuckoos. Although then again, so is Magic Powder. Magic Powder also kills Cuckoos, I think. 
I'm pretty sure it set them on fire. Anyways, let's just get over to that door. And we still have one more- oh! Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to get over there without the flippers. Yeah, we won't need to come back for that one, unfortunately. I can't- actually, can I jump that far? One, two- no, that's five spaces. Yeah, I can definitely not jump that far. The maximum is technically three. I mean, sometimes if you push it, you can make four, but that's really hard to do. It has to be, like, pixel perfect. Uh, let's see, anything else around here that we could grab? Got some holes that will become very important later on, if I remember correctly. Oh, yep, there it goes. Yeah, we need to drop down there to grab that key. Actually, we can probably just go down from over here, can't we? Oh, ow, oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot how far that- what the heck? Why did that bounce me so far? Okay, yeah, I can't get that. Unfortunately, Link can't swim even in side view. Okay. Even though I'm, I'm pretty sure all he does have, have to do is like hold his breath to get down there and just climb back out on the ladder. But nope, second he touches water, he just kind of drowns. Link might be made out of sodium. He just kind of dissolves the second he hits deep water. Uh, I can't get to that yet. Oops. Oh, that puzzle. I remember that puzzle. That was like the first dungeon puzzle that I really got stuck on as a kid. That tile puzzle. Let me see if I still remember. I don't think... Actually, no, I don't think my old pattern will work. I think the pattern is randomized every single playthrough. Whoops. Also, I'm pretty sure I've lost more hearts to dark water than uh, actual enemies. I cannot wait until we get the flippers. That'll unlock a ton of stuff, actually. Actually, I think we can probably- oops. We can probably finish the trading side quest once we get the flippers. I think. We might need a few more things. Actually, we might need the hook shot. I remember. But yeah, we'll see. Also, we might be able to complete the uh, secret seashell quest after this, too. Because it turns out swimming is pretty important on a tropical island with lakes and the ocean. Unfortunately, no, we can't just swim off the island. That would be really easy. I need the flippers for this, yeah. I'll come back later. Uh, let's see, got a small key. And I'm about to be hit by a fireball. Nope, missed. Okay, we'll have to come back to that up from... Yeah, we need the flippers to get that to that room. Because the only way in is through the deep water. Hearts? No hearts. I would like some hearts. Then again, I do also have the secret medicine, so I should be fine. Can't go that way. We'll have to come... Yeah, we'll have to go to that room from below. Uh, what have I not explored yet? Oh, right, we got a small key. Let's go find another locked door. Also, I hate pea hats. They're just more of an annoyance than anything, because you can't kill them once they're up in the air. For some reason. Need flippers for that. Also, I'm losing all these rupees because they keep falling in the water. Great. Man, peanuts are annoying in the 2D games. Once they're up in the air, they're just kind of a nuisance. You have to wait for them to move. Anyways, yeah, we have a small key. Let's go open that door. Let's open that door and hit all the enemies. There we go. I'm bad at hitting enemies, apparently. Rupees and a heart. Alright, what do we got here? Here we go. Boss time. Well, mini boss time. Also, I accidentally paused on the note right before the music starts. There we go. So yeah, this guy, pretty easy. Just need to get behind him with the Pegasus boots. Actually, I forget. We have to get behind him. Yeah, we have to get behind him. Or, you know, just... Take the hit. Actually, technically, I could just do this. That's the advantage of the blue mail. I don't have to care about damage at the moment. I'm just gonna get a fairy after this anyways. There we go. 
That wasn't how you're supposed to fight the boss, but it worked. Yeah, how you're supposed to do is you're supposed to run around the arena with the Pegasus boots and get behind him. Oh well. Oh, right. I forgot, in order to grab him this game, you need the power bracelet. That's the disadvantage of only having two buttons on the Game Boy. Everything has to be tied to a button. Anyways, these should be the dungeon item. Let me see. Yep, there they are. Flipper time. Now we can finally swim. Am I the only person who thinks flippers are harder to swim with than just using your feet? Oh well, they're probably magic flippers. Okay, this room. Okay, let's remember the pattern. So the pattern is middle, lower left, upper right. I don't remember the pattern as a kid. Uh, upper left, and lower right. Okay. That's very important. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I remember that. Let's see if we can just get this done before I forget. Alright, so it's middle... So we just need to hit these in the same exact order. This one, upper right. Also, yeah, we can swim now. We can also push B to dive, which is going to be imp important later on. But right now, we'll be fine. There we go. I think that leads to the boss room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this leads to the boss room. We can't... Actually, no, let me just double check that to be sure. If it does, we can't do this yet. We have to go back and find a few more things. Oh, this puzzle. I remember this puzzle. It's a nice little platforming puzzle. Basically, make him fall down. Make him fall down. Jump on- oops. Make him fall down. Jump on top of him and jump to the stairs. No, this isn't the boss room. I was wrong. This is the boss key. Which we kind of need for the boss room. Okay. Actually, while we're in the area, aren't there a few more things we can do around here? Uh, let me see. What are we still missing? We're missing probably a few small keys. But yeah, we can't fight in the water, so we have to dive underwater to avoid enemies. I have a small key on me, don't I? Nope. Yeah, we don't have a small key. That being said, we can't get to that chest over there, which I think might just be rupees. There's also that one chest near the beginning of the dungeon that we could go back for. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just rupees. 50 rupees. Close to affording the bow now. Whoops. Alright, what else have we not done in this area? This room is good. Okay, yeah, let's backtrack a bit. We can go that way, which I don't want to go. Oh, we can go down to, uh, grab that small key that fell into that hole earlier. I should also probably get a weapon out. <laughs> that might help me not hit every single enemy along the way. There we go. Also, yeah, the side swimming view is a bit weird. Alright, so we got the key down there. There's nothing to the north that we could do right now. Oops. Yeah, this is the uh, mini boss room. Alright, let's backtrack a bit then. There was that one chest that we missed, which I'm pretty sure at this point is just rupees, but hey, money's money. Uh, let's see, I need to jump that again. I can't wait until I get the hook shot so I can stop doing this. Oh crap. Then again, the hook shot wouldn't help here, but still. There we go. Alright, what is in here? It's probably just rupees again. Yep, just rupees. Alright, is that every single chest in the dungeon now? Yeah, it is. Alright, off to the boss then. Yeah, pretty short dungeon, all things considered. When you actually know what you're doing. And not getting stuck like a kid. Oops. It would also help if I actually remember to hit jump before I left the platform. There we go. Alright, so to get to the boss... Let me see. Yeah, we have to backtrack a bit to that one locked block that we came across earlier. Yep, that one over there. Whoops. Fortunately though, the boss of this dungeon is absurdly easy. Like, he's... Honestly, the mini-boss of this dungeon is harder than the actual boss. Also, might as well grab a few extra hearts while I'm here. Whoops. There we go. 
All right, let's go. Also, more Mario enemies. Also, yeah, you can swing your sword underwater in this game. And to swim up, you just have to hit B a lot. Actually, wait. It's B, right? No, never mind. That was only because I was trying to jump underwater. That's right. I completely forgot about that. That the rock's feather actually does work underwater. Alright, anyways, boss time. You know what? Let's grab it. And we'll grab the money too. Alright, let's do this. So unlike the other bosses, this guy's underwater. Due to the fact that this is the Flipper's Dungeon. Hi there! Yeah, the boss is an anglerfish. All our strategy is for this boss is hit him in the little lantern area until he's dead. That's it. He... Really... Pointless. He's dead already. Yeah... Not exactly the most threatening of bosses. Alright, let's get out of here. It also helps that, yes, I had a piece of power for that boss. Man, if I had a piece... Actually, I'm not sure a piece of power in Red Cloak, uh, stack. But if I had the Red Cloak, that boss would have been really, really fast, too. Anyways, fourth instrument. It's a harp. It's a pretty harp. But yeah, our journey is about halfway over now. And the next dungeon is over at the bay. And probably my least favorite dungeon in the game. We'll go there later. But now that we have the flippers, we can explore a lot of the island. And I'm gonna pretty much spend the next, like, episode doing nothing but side quests. Actually, before we end the episode, though, there is one thing I want to do. I think it's this way? No, wait, no, it's the other way. Never mind. There's one thing I want to grab here before uh, we head off. Also, I'm just going to get my rock feather out for reasons. It's this cave over here. This little fish cave. We can learn something new here. Hi there. Yep, I have an ocarina. But yeah, we learn a new song here. Also, if you uh, go up in the air, you just stick up there. There we go. Well, we learned our second song. This is the only optional song in the game. We learn Mambo's Mambo. It's a pretty useful song. Basically, it's our warp song. If we played inside a dungeon, we just warp to the entrance. And if we played on the overworld, we warp to that pond just in the middle of the map, next to a uh, Crazy Tracy's house. Really, really useful in getting around. Also, yeah, we have time. Let's do one more thing while we're here before I warp out of here. Here we go. All right, so if we just dive... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, if we dive somewhere around here, we find a piece of heart. Got it on the first try. Pretty sure you just have to dive anywhere in this, like, center four tiles. Anyways, let's try out that new song now. If I could get myself on dry land long enough. There we go. But yep, there it is. I like the little fish icon. There we go. So yeah, every time we want now, we can just warp to pretty much the exact center of the map. If I can get out of the menu. There we go. There we go. Well, not exact center, but pretty much the center, because... Man, there's still an entire area over here we haven't explored yet. We should explore that at some point. And probably up near Telltale Heights, too. Huh. Yeah, I could have sworn this was the center of the map, but... It's pretty much equal distance to all the important stuff anyways. Alright. Anyways, with that, I think I'll end the episode here. So that's... different. Next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening, 
we're gonna deal with our little new friend here. Is he supposed to be- yeah, he is supposed to be flickering like that. And then, side quests. Lots and lots of side quests. So, till then.